Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys how to get the 1440 by 180 resolution in Cisco on a laptop which doesn't have the display menu here. I've been uh, working a bit lately and talking to Intel and Nvidia to try to get the information we needed to know a little bit more about this. So first up what you'll do is you'll open up this menu here and go into the physics configuration. Sorry for the Danish. Um, I haven't really changed the language and I tried to do on Intel graphics, but I'll need to download another version and yeah, whatever. So if you go in here and look at the physics, my displays are connected to the Intel graphics, which means I'll not have all the display menus up here. If I had a laptop where the graphics cards, or sorry, the desktops, screens and everything was connected to the my graphics card everything will be here but if they're not connected you will not have it here so the way to get it will be through into graphics but it is a little bit complex i have two separate screens uh, which you use for my usage because i don't like my laptop screen but after i've been trying out this method I figured out you cannot run or I can't run it on a separate screen. So to get this resolution, I actually had to play on the laptop screen. But that is for my laptop. I'm not sure about your laptop, but only for this laptop. So what I did was I've been playing a lot with the menu. We'll go into the into graphics settings. You can open it here or going into into graphics. Oh, well, apparently not. Whatever. Um, you go into the graphics menu here, into screen, and here you get it, all the settings. Um, now that I'm mostly playing with a lower resolution, I access it up so I'll scale full screen, which is also a good idea um, because I hate playing with black bars and that makes me crazy. So we'll go into the um, custom resolutions. Uh, this is something about what can happen if you don't do it properly. You're going, yes. So this is where we're going to set our custom resolution. So we have the um, refresh rate of the screen, which for my purpose, it is 60 hertz. For some people, maybe 120 hertz, 144 hertz. That's just about what you expect to get out of your screen. Um, I'm not tried kicking it more. Oh yeah, wait a minute. If you put it higher, See that. Oh, I'll try to actually make it two sec. If you put it to another resolution that is 1920 by 1080 and a higher refresh rate, you'll also get a warning because the refresh rate of your screen is higher than the standard refresh rate. So if example we set it to the resolution we want, which is the 1440 by 1080, boom, it's there. So you see, we created the custom resolution now. Um, so the thing we next are gonna do is we close the Intel graphics and we can also close the Nvidia. So what I'll do now is I'll go back to my laptop screen because I'm recording this on the main screen and I'll show you guys what will happen when I use my laptop screen. So I'm now back on the laptop screen and what we'll try now is setting everything up. So normally you'll go into your Steam and add in the custom startup settings, you'll add the resolution. But if you do this properly, we'll just be able to load up CSGO like this. And now that we are in CSGO, we'll go into settings, video settings, and now I have my normal resolution, but if you look at the button, boom, you get the resolution. And we applied. Here it is. Lovely for 1440 by 180 resolution that you want. So I hope this tutorial helped a bit on this, having an understanding of what is actually going on and why you can't use the display menu in NVIDIA and how you'll actually get the resolution working.